Here we are, right about where we left off on the last exploration of the Mystic River Greenway. Over here is where the Alewife Brook feeds into it, and this is where it rounds the bend. I'll explore the somewhat disheveled mess along here, just so that we can get a sense of what it might become in the future. This doesn't look like it's of a long duration. Get a sense of the work this way. That's the old bridge there. Repairing. There's the inlet point. Ah, lots of jewelry. And a fair amount of Japanese knotweed. So the various invasive families are thoroughly represented. So after that brief look at the confluence, we now come upon the main stream. And it's a bit swollen with water and debris from the torrents of rain we've been getting. Ah, lily pads are looking pretty good. Not a notably great flow, mind you. It's kind of placid now. But it is teeming with various life. As I stepped down this side bank, I flushed a couple of things that were hanging around that submerged branch. And you can see it isn't too turbid, it's not actually half bad. There's a pretty good sense of the bottom of the river to a depth of a couple of feet. You can see what's going on. <laughs> the Vireo thing, or a Viri thing, is making its insistent noise. That's the somewhat busy Mystic Valley Parkway. We're trending in the general direction of Winchester, but we probably won't go all the way there. Pretty good infrastructure and some midden piles of stuff. River's pretty 
open to the bank here, not a lot of growth. Ah, and there's the beginning point of the path. We'll catch it up ahead of this person who's enjoying the peace and quiet of the place. Yeah, this is a very good place to get a sense of how the river is probably cleaned up. large section of lily pads. since the last time I was exploring this so they just let them go quite a while before mowing them and it looks like they don't bother to pick up the grass they let it mulch in interesting Given that I've spotted similar approaches up at Appleton Farm in Ipswich, the rationale probably is that you let the grass run tall through nesting season, and once that's out of the way, then you can go with the mowers. This sort of skirts along the edge of Arlington. <coughs> I took a 94 bus here and bailed it where Boston Ave meets the river. I'll be meeting a 94 again up in West Medford, a place I know well. Quite an old willow hanging in there. And of course, the handy, comfy bench. Place doesn't get a lot of use, but then this is a Friday midday. Everyone's at lunch. And that heads back towards Somerville and Boston Ave. This is heading up to Winchester. And we just keep on ambling along the trailway. It looks like it's a the Yankees call rock dust. That's a Coating. They haven't felt any grand need to pave it, and I imagine it's fairly serviceable in most conditions. That might be an Oriole, actually. Oh, 
I think this is near the spot where some petrochemical fuel tank truck or something bit the dust and made a mess last month. But I'm not sure. Looks like there's a bunch of work going on over at that gas station. spot where the trail veers down in towards Arlington, should you wish to go that way. This is all hooked up relatively well. 